Are you curious about the different approaches to stock investing and wondering which one is right for you? Tune into our upcoming video where we'll be breaking down all the pros and cons of active versus passive stock investing. Don't miss out on the opportunity to take control of your financial future and maximize your investments. If you're interested in the world of stocks and investing, make sure you join Money Lab by subscribing now. We're going to keep you up to date on the latest developments and show you the incredible potential of investing, so don't miss out. Welcome to our video on the pros and cons of active versus passive stock investing. Investing in the stock market can be a great way to grow your wealth, but it can also be risky. The decision of how to invest your money can be a huge difference in your financial future. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the two main approaches to stock investing, active and passive. We will define what they are, discuss their pros and cons, and help you decide which approach is right for you. Whether you're new to investing or seasoned pro, this video has something for everyone. So sit back, relax, and let's get started on understanding the difference between active and passive stock investing. Active investing is like being a lead singer in a rock band. It's all about the spotlight and making quick decisions. You're constantly analyzing the market, trying to find the next big hit, and making trades left and right. It's a high energy, high stakes game, and if you're good at it, you can be a rock star and make some serious dough. But if you're not careful, you might end up like a one hit wonder and nobody wants that. Active investors are always on the lookout for the next big opportunity that they research on the market. They read the financial news, look for patterns in stock prices, are always on the move and trying to find the best stocks to buy and sell. But with the approach comes a higher level of risk, as this market is always changing and you need to be able to react quickly and make the right decisions. On the other hand, passive investing is like being the bass player in a jazz band. It's all about laying down a foundation and staying steady. You're not the one making all the flashy moves, but you're still an essential part of the team. You're buying and holding a diversified portfolio of stocks in the long term without making frequent trades. It's a more laid back approach. It doesn't require a lot of research or monitoring of the market. You just need to find a good portfolio of stocks and hold on to it for the long term. With this approach, the risk is lower, but so is the potential for returns. Passive investors are not trying to beat the market. They're simply trying to match market returns. They buy the stock market as a whole and let the market do the work for them. So now that we've defined what active and passive investing are, you may be wondering what's the difference between the two approaches in terms of involvement, time, and research required. Let's take a look. The difference between active and passive investing can be described in terms of involvement, time, and research required. Active investing is a hands-on approach requiring a significant amount of time, energy, and research. Active investors are constantly monitoring the markets, looking for new opportunities, and making trades based on their own analysis. They need to stay up to date on the latest financial news, read financial statements, and conduct their own research to identify undervalued stocks. It's not an easy task and it requires a lot of dedication, but the potential for higher returns can make it worth it. Passive investing, on the other hand, is a more hands-off approach. Passive investors don't spend nearly as much time researching the market, and they make few or no trades. Instead, they focus on building a diversified portfolio of stocks and holding onto it in the long term. The idea is that over time, the market will continue to grow, and the value of the portfolio will increase. Passive investing requires less involvement, less time, and less research. It's a more laid-back approach, but it also comes with a lower potential for returns. In terms of time, active investing can be very time consuming. You need to be able to dedicate a lot of time to research, monitoring the market, and making trades. Passive investing, on the other hand, is less time consuming. You just need to find a good portfolio of stocks and hold on to it. So now that we know active investing requires more involvement, time, and research, what about the potential for returns? Are the higher risks of active investing worth it? Let's take a look at the pros and cons of active investing. The pros and cons of active investing are a bit like a double-edged sword. On one hand, active investing has the potential for higher returns. Active investors who are able to identify undervalued stocks and make successful trades see significant gains. It's the equivalent of hitting the jackpot in the stock market, and it can be a game changer for your financial future. Active investors have the opportunity to beat the market if they are able to pick the right stocks and make the right trades. On the other hand, active investing also comes with a higher level of risk. Active investors must constantly monitor the markets and make decisions based on their own analysis, and if they make a wrong move, they can lose a significant amount of money. The market is unpredictable and it can change quickly, and if an active investor is not prepared, you can suffer significant losses. It's like playing a game of roulette, you can win big, but you can also lose big. Another downside of active investing is the cost. It requires a lot of research and monitoring and it can be costly. Trading commissions, research fees, and other expenses can add up quickly and eat into your returns. Do you find this interesting and want to learn about more intriguing topics like these? Then make sure you leave a like and join MetaLab by subscribing. So we've looked at the pros and cons of active investing, but what about passive investing? How does it compare in terms of risk and potential returns? 
Passive investing is the polar opposite of active investing when it comes to risk and potential returns. With passive investing, the risk is lower and so is the potential for returns. Passive investors hold a diversified portfolio of stocks for the long term and make fewer no trades. They don't try to beat the market, they just try to match market returns. The biggest advantage of passive investing is it's a lower risk approach. By holding a diversified portfolio and making fewer no trades, passive investors are less exposed to market fluctuations. It's like a steady ship in a stormy sea. It might not be the most exciting ride, but it's a safer one. Passive investors can sleep soundly knowing they have well-diversified portfolios likely to grow over time, regardless of the market conditions. Another advantage of passive investing is the cost efficiency. Since passive investors don't need to constantly monitor the market, research stocks, or make trades, it's a cheaper way to invest. Trading commissions, research fees, and other expenses are minimal, and it allows traders to keep more of their returns. On the downside, passive investing has a lower potential for returns. Passive investors don't try to beat the market, they just try to match the market returns, and that means their returns will be lower than the market average. Also, passive investors are not taking advantage of market opportunities, such as buying undervalued stocks, so they're missing out on potential gains. Now that we've looked at the pros and cons of both active and passive investing, you might be wondering how do I decide which approach is right for me? Let's look at factors to consider when choosing between active and passive investing. When it comes to choosing between active and passive investing, there are several factors to consider. The most important ones are your risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. Your risk tolerance is the level of risk you're comfortable with. If you're someone who's comfortable taking a higher level of risk in pursuit of high returns, active investing may be the right approach for you. But if you want a more conservative approach, passive investing could be a better fit. Your investment goals are also important to consider. If you want to beat the market, you need to do active investing. But if you want steady and reliable returns, you want passive investing. It's important to align your investment approach with your investment goals. Your long-term time horizon is also an important factor to consider. If you're investing for the long term, you want passive investing. The power of compounding and long-term growth of the market will work in your favor, but if you're investing for the short term, active investing may be the way to go. Another factor to consider is expertise and experience. If you have knowledge and experience to analyze the market, conduct research, and make trades, active investing could be the way to go. But if you don't have the time, knowledge, or experience, passive investing is the way to go. So we've looked at the factors to consider when choosing between active and passive investing, but how can you be sure that you're making the right decision? Let's take a look at the importance of seeking professional advice before making any investment decisions. Seeking professional advice before making any investment decisions is crucial, regardless of whether you choose active or passive investing. A professional advisor can help you determine your risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon, and can provide you with a personalized investment strategy that aligns with your needs. They can also help you understand the markets, the economy, and different investment options available to you. A professional advisor can help you diversify your portfolio, which is an essential aspect of investing. Diversifying your portfolio means spreading your investments across different asset classes, sec sectors, and geographic regions. This helps minimize the risk and maximize returns. A professional advisor can help you create a diverse portfolio tailored to your specific needs and goals. To summarize, active investing is a hands-on approach where investors constantly monitor the markets, look for new opportunities, and make trades based on their own analysis. It requires a significant amount of time, energy, and research, but it has the potential for high returns. Passive investing, on the other hand, is a more hands-off approach, where investors hold a diverse portfolio of stocks for the long term and make fewer no trades. It requires less involvement, time, and less research, but it also comes with a lower potential for returns. When choosing between active and passive investing, you need to consider your risk tolerance, investment goals, and time horizon. Are you curious at how technology is revolutionizing the stock market and you want to stay ahead of the game? Then check out our next video. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, join Money Lab by subscribing now.